Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. A while back I made a recording uh, it's called uh, The Great Experiment, right? Where I try to build this behemoth of a SSTO cargo ship. I've been always meaning to go back and revisit that kind of uh, idea or design, but... Uh, this time around, I would build it a little bit more manageable, not so huge, you know, something mid-size, right? The basic idea was to create something where you could load it up and it could just take it into orbit, like like a basket almost, like like a basket with rockets. If that makes any sense? I don't know. However, after a couple of tries, I started to get the impression that this just was not the way to do it. The idea of having like a giant VTOL spaceship land, get loaded up, and then take off was it's a great idea, but not very really practical. I still want to do something like that in the future, but for now we're just going to have to go the old-fashioned way of just using the runway like a normal space plane would. However, like I said before, the design that I was working on, the whole basket idea, wasn't really working until I made a little, uh, oopsie. Inadvertently, when I was taking the vessel apart, I accidentally flipped it upside down in the actual build hanger. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda liked it way better than what I was working on. Plus, if you're gonna load this thing up on the ground, it'd actually be better to just drive up underneath of it and load up from underneath the belly, instead of having to somehow go up a ramp system or whatever. Plus, as a big online EVE player, it kinda reminded me of the... Oh, crap, what the hell was the name of that ship again? The the Rock? The Rock? The Rock? Oh, gosh. In editing, I don't remember what it is, but uh, it's this one right here. Yep, I I'm gonna definitely find the picture of it and its name and plaster it in front of you. There you go. Drake. That's what it was. Drake. I remember now. A little too late. But anyway, I tried making this uh, SSTO of VTOL again, but it just it just just too many rockets and not enough fuel. I'm sure if I had a month to work on it, I would definitely figure out the the magical combination of rockets versus fuel, but not right now. So the thing definitely needs a lot of power in order to get up into orbit. It, it doesn't have it doesn't have any air breathing engines whatsoever because it's just way too heavy. And of course it's way too heavy because it was designed to be more of a rocket SSTO. If I was to make it an air breathing SSTO, it would slim way down. But that's not what I was going for. I mean, I did try it. Try it. What the fuck? I did try to give it the best air breathing ability I could and that was like uh, conduction fans, right? I find that conduction fans, when you build them yourself, are, can be actually stronger in some cases uh, than jets are when it comes to lifting things up. I mean, if I'm wrong about this, somebody in comments let me know because my personal experience, if you just get something really strong conduction fan-wise, put big old blades on it, big old motor, it's a lot stronger than some of the jet engines out there. Regardless, I wasn't, I, I, it just wasn't, it just wasn't. It's not gonna, I don't think so, no. At that point, you might as well just turn the whole rocket SSTO back into an air-breathing one, which is not what I was going for. See, rocket SSTOs have this really cool ability that if they work on Kerbin, they can work on pretty much 90% of all other planets and moons out there, except except for EVE. If you have the Delta V and the TWR to leave Kerbin under rocket power only, imagine anywhere else. Tylo would be a breeze because it has no atmosphere whatsoever even though it has the gravity of Kerbin and a, and freaking Lathe would be a breeze. You could pretty much operate it anywhere. Unlike an air breathing SSTO which can only really work if it if it's like really low gravity moon or something and there's or the, or and or there are there is blah, 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 air. Like an air breathing SSTO might work on 80% of everything out there, lathe included, of course, because it's got air breathing, you know, it's got air atmosphere, but Tylo would be definitely out of the picture because you wouldn't have enough rocket power to have a, a you know, a Kerbin level gravity well with no air to breathe in order to get started so unless you got a high twr to lift your ass up rocket wise and enough delta v then you're screwed whereas rocket sstos no sweat but anyway i digress so test after test after test i got closer and closer to orbit i had to downgrade the amount of cargo that i actually wanted to get up there although four 36 ton orange tanks is pretty heavy it's a, it's a good cargo size plus i wasn't looking for how much it, you know how how heavy, I mean, heaviness was a factor in the cargo transport capability, but the size was what I was really going for. A lot of people be like, well, my SSTO can carry, you know, 5 million
million tons into orbit, but in, then you look and it's all crammed into this tiny little living space. Where in actuality, if you wanted something to be useful, you would need, you know, I don't know, what's it called? Uh, space, room, depth. Stuff to shove stuff in that's useful stuff, not just something that's really heavy. So if it can carry something really heavy, great. But if you're transporting things like parts of a space station or whatever, or parts of a interplanetary spacecraft, you know, you're gonna need some room. Useful room, not just the ability to carry something heavy. Now I will admit that the design is not completed yet. There's still a lot of testing to be done. When the craft becomes less and less empty with fuel, well, less, what the fuck, less and less uh, when the craft's fuel becomes depleted, its center of mass starts to drop, which throws the whole thing out of whack. There is a way to fix this, of course, but I just don't have the time to go back and figure it out. During re-entry, because of the fact that the center of mass goes whack, it also plays around with the center of lift, which makes it kind of lose control on the way down. I haven't tried everything yet, even though I did go to the extreme of putting like air brakes on the damn thing but ultimately what you're gonna have to do is just figure out a way to throw the center of lift further back using some sort of mechanical device whether it be a piston or a hinge i know this because i've been building giant rocket sstos for a while now and that's usually the go-to for re-entry to move all the center of mass further back oh not center of mass further back but you can't do that center of lift further back is what I meant to say. So at this point in the design, uh, as soon as it hits really thick atmosphere, then, you know, it can regain its control. But those are the two things that I'm working on right now is thrust to weight ratio and balance when it gets empty. And of course the re-entry center of mass, center of lift, slight problem. However, when this thing is empty, it glides. It glides like it's floating in air almost. I mean, shoot most aircraft would stall at 40 meters per second this thing just takes to it like butter so there's a lot of potential there but anyway let me know what you think in the comments below i'd love to hear your thoughts about it i always read all everybody's comments no matter what it always helps to support new ideas and new creations and stuff of this nature but that's it for me today thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching if you liked what you saw please leave a like and also i've noticed that even though a lot of you have subscribed and i love you for it unfortunately YouTube has this nasty little habit that if you don't ring that ring that bell or, uh, yeah ring my bell no <clears throat> if you don't click on that bell notification it will on purposefully that's even a word not notify you when I put out a video on purpose YouTube will literally on on purpose not notify you when I put out a video if you don't click on that bell notification that's freaking crazy who thought that shit up i always get a comment here and there saying oh my gosh you uploaded it's been a while it's like no i've been doing it for a while now it's just you know youtube has this funny little thing that if you don't click on the damn icon that has the bell on it you won't get notified it's well it's it's <sighs> marketing i don't know but if you liked what you saw so much that you want to subscribe and click on the bell notification i also have a membership program if you're interested if you become a member you get cool little emojis and badges in your name and whatnot pretty cool check it out but anyway love you all stay safe and i'll see you in the next video bye for now bye bye